Okay, which of the following is equal to 1.25% of x? 1.25% of x. Well, think of it this way. What's 1% of x? 1% is always represented as 1 over 100. So 1 over 100 times x, or simply x, and draw a little x where that 1 was, x over 100. 1.25 is basically the same thing, a little bit, obviously a little bit bigger. And so you can tell that the answer is going to have to be very close to x over 100. And the reason I'm showing you this way is it's a much faster way than trying to figure out the exact number, especially if you look at the spread of answer choices. Look at A. It's x over 80. That's pretty close to x over 100. The next one is x over 8. That is nowhere close to x over 100. And this is a tiny number compared to this. These are about the same. And then from B, it only increases. So you know B through E will not work, so therefore the answer has to be A.